Hey guys, Zach here, and welcome back to another edition of Jurassic June, and today we'll be taking a look at We're Back, A Dinosaur Story. Now, in my Disney's Dinosaur Review, I mentioned that it was that movie and a dinosaur book called Dinosaur Dictionary A to Z were the two things that introduced me to dinosaurs. Well, this movie also kind of helped with that. Not as much so as Disney's Dinosaur or the book I mentioned, but... It was still there, and even as a kid, I really liked this movie. Looking back on it now, it's not bad, but we'll talk about it, you know, later on. But first, let's talk about the story. So, a Tyrannosaurus Rex, a Triceratops, a Parasaurolophus, and a Pteranodon, or some type of pterosaur, are brought to New York City to 1954, or 54, um, 1994, by a professor called Professor New Eyes. And the reason why he does this is because he wants to make children's dreams come true. However, these dinosaurs started off very savage, but with the help of this intelligence serial, they turn these vicious creatures, these vicious monsters, into lovable cartoonish characters, which, kind of weird, but not too weird. It's self-explanatory. However, later down the road, they meet a kid, and... I forget his name. I think his name is, like, Eric or something. I forget who his name is. And then there's a little girl who... I forget her name as well, but... She's voiced by Lisa Simpson. So, they go to the movie... Or, no, they go to New York, and... Through the whole movie... Or, not the whole movie, but... They are trying to find the Museum of Natural History so they could make kids happy. Which is the reason why Professor New Eyes brought them to the future. There's a lot I'm leaving out, because that's all I'm going to explain... There's a lot I'm leaving out, because trying to explain the plot for this movie is like trying to explain quantum physics. It's very complicated, and it is very just... There's a lot to wrap your head around, because there's an alien, there's a clown, there's just a lot of things. Monsters, there's just so much in this movie that I'm just going to leave out here. But, that's pretty much it for the story. From what I'm describing, it sounds basic, but the movie itself is actually you know, very complex in terms of a story. Not in, like, a clever way, but just in, like, a very weird way. But, yeah. Anyway, talking about the animation, the animation on this film is very nice. It's not as good as The Lion King. It's not as good as any of the 2D Disney movies at the time or any of Don Bluth's movies, but the animation still, it's competent. So, yeah, the animation is solid. Um, the soundtrack, great, not great, actually, it's decent, um, the soundtrack to me just sounds like a typical, like, it, to me, I don't know why, but for some reason it reminds me of Animaniacs at times, I, I don't know why, the instruments are different, but it just sounds and just feels a lot like Animaniacs, but that's just me. Um, the characters are okay. I like Rex's character. Elsa's character is okay, and no, I'm not going to make a Frozen joke. The pterosaur in this movie is actually named Elsa, so please, no Frozen jokes. Um, you know, Woog is alright. The Parasaurolophus, I forget his name. Not really a big fan of him. The kids aren't awful. They're bland. Professor New Eyes is... He feels like John Hammond from Jurassic Park, and then there's Screw Eyes, who's, yeah, he's an average villain. There's an alien in this movie, and I actually despise that alien. I don't like the clown either. And I think that about does it for characters in this movie. They're not awful. I hate the alien, but they're either okay or eh. However, you know, the T-Rex... I like T-Rex, so... Or, no, I like the T-Rex in this movie, I mean, so, yeah. And the voice acting. The voice acting is pretty good. Um, out of the whole movie, the only two voices I recognized were... The main, like, the little girl in this movie. She's voiced by Lisa Simpson, and when you watch this movie, that's all you can hear whenever you hear a voice. Just Lisa Simpson. And then Rex is actually voiced by John Goodman, which I think is really cool. I really like John Goodman's voice, and I think, you know, a lot of people think of him from The Big Lebowski, but honestly, I always remember John Goodman from 
both this movie and Monsters, Inc. Because Monsters, Inc. was actually one of my favorite movies as a kid as well. But, yeah, other than that, the voice acting, not bad. Not bad. Other names I probably couldn't recognize, but, again, it's not bad. But, again, the alien is trash, but that's just me. Positives. Um... There's a Jurassic Park Easter egg in this movie. That was pretty fun. There are some moments that did kind of give me a laugh. Like, there's one scene where Rex, like, all the dinosaurs are hiding from the people. However, Rex, like, accidentally, like, sticks his foot out. And someone trips over his foot. And the guy doesn't look up at Rex or anything like that and just freaks out. He's just like, ah, watch where you're going. Which was funny, but it wasn't like, you know, rolling on the floor funny. It was just, you know, something that was just, no, that's, that was fun, I guess. But, yeah, honestly, that might be about it for positives for me. There are probably other things. The animation is still good, you know, the soundtrack, average, but, yeah, it's still, you know, some of the things that I liked, you know, everything else is just, all right. Negatives. The only negative I have with this movie are some of the characters. I think the alien and clown are very annoying. You know? The little girl, I, I could have lived without her, and even the kid I could have lived without. Um, oh yeah, there's, um, there's an old lady in this movie who the dinosaurs were supposed to meet in order to bring them to the museum. Again, her character was kind of... meh. But, yeah... Honestly, the only two characters I didn't like were the alien and the clown. Everyone else was either okay or... Eh. However, I like John Goodman, so, yeah. And there are some things that I'm not sure about when it comes to dislikes or likes about this movie. There are so, like, there are some very unsettling imagery here, you know? Like, there's a lot of imagery that could easily, like, you know, mess up a kid. Or not mess up a kid, like, that bad, but... It, some of the imagery in this movie can definitely scare a kid, especially near the end. And that could either be a good thing or a bad thing. As an adult, it's probably a good thing to have them like, oh yeah, that's that's actually looks really cool. But then as a kid, you're probably thinking, that's the scariest thing I've ever seen. This movie isn't horrifying, but there definitely are some moments in this movie that are really unsettling. Especially the villain's death. I'm not going to give it away here, but... That is a dark way to go, especially for a kid's movie. It's not, like, graphic or anything like that, but it's really creepy and disturbing, but I digress. So, yeah, as I said before, this movie is just very weird. Not bad. I'm not saying it's a bad movie. It's average, but it's still very weird, but that's another thing I'm kind of unsure about. That could either be taken as a good thing or a bad thing. And in conclusion, I liked this movie as a kid. Now, I don't know what to make of it, you know. It's okay, but at the same time, there are things that, you know, make it not okay, but then there are other things that make it okay. And, yeah. This movie is very fast-paced sometimes. There's a scene in New York where the dinosaurs are trying to run away from the police, and everything just goes by very fast and very just in your face. And it's just, there's a lot of, like, it's very easy to miss out on things. So one minute, you know, Rex is running from the police. And then the next minute, you know, the Triceratops, woo, he's in a grocery store. And then, you know, just, then the next scene, Rex is, like, riding a car as a skateboard. And then there's time travel. And then there's just a clown. And this is a weird movie. I'm not going to go into any more detail, just this is a very weird movie. Not bad, but not weird. So, at the end of the day, should you watch this? I'd say walk, don't run to see this movie. It's not great, however, it's still not a bad movie by any means. It's just very, very, very weird. You know, and again, that's not a bad thing, just... That's just something that I feel about this movie. So, yeah. I guess, you know, out of a 10, 
I'd say this movie gets a six. Yeah, it's weird, and yeah, there are moments that make me kind of question, like, do I like that? But at the end of the day, this was actually one of my favorite movies as a kid. And just like with Disney's Dinosaur, it's kind of hard for me to bash on it. So, yeah. So, I'd say it gets a six, you know? Not terrible, but not great either. So, yeah. Anyway, that is it for today. Have a great rest of your week, and I will see you in the next video. Peace, Zek out.